this dream I'm dreaming Won't you wake me up tonight Cause this life I'm living Doesn't really feel like mine This strange dream I'm dreaming song is called Wave and she rolls a little something like this. Bye. 
So this next song is called Strange Rain. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my brain was like not working for like two years, and then in the middle of the night, I swear to God, I just woke up and I'm like, well, oh, oh, everything's okay again. I don't know why. I absolutely have no idea why my brain came back, but it just did. And then I went and wrote this song immediately after that because it didn't. I was like, just in case it doesn't come back again, <laughs> I better write a song. <laughs> but it's called Strange Rain. So something like this. Been a strange day walking just a little outside of my heart and I don't feel like talking, but the weather doesn't ask me why. But the rain feels nice. Smiling high, a melancholy as a slip by and rip the hole from your chest. Give me something I can lay my head in. It's cold. 
strange day walking just a little outside my heart and I <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. Yes. Um, how's everybody doing here in Toronto? You guys all good? Very nice to see you. We haven't been here in a while. I know all of Toronto is not here right now, obviously. But I will call you Toronto as a name. <laughs> That's just the best I can do. I do not know everybody's name. Um, this next song is called Melody Noir. Um, it's kind of a strange song. You should listen to the original song that was inspired by it's a singer called Simon Diaz. He's a Venezuelan singer. He's probably one of my favorite singers ever. And he has a song called Tonada de la Luna. And I think I listened to this one song for eight months and only that one song. And I wanted to cover it, but I didn't think I'd do the right way of doing it. So I kind of, it's kind of a, a, me and Mishka had this riff and it was very similar. So we kind of wrote an, like a song to answer his song. And the song is actually about everybody's got kind of strange little holes in them and we fill them in all sorts of particular ways. So I thought I'd write a love song for trying to fill those holes in all those strange particular ways that we do that. <laughs> it's called Melody Noir. Tell me where the wind is blowing Cause that's where the music's going You are my big dark blue And I want to swim all around you You are the sweetest melody I never saw I feel like I know you, but you're just a ghost to me. And when I sit beside, it feels just like the whole world. You are the sweetest melody I, I, I never saw. My remedy to rescue me You are a breeze of a song that carries me You are the sweetest melody I, I, I've never sung Got a hole the size of your touch that fits in your arms as much. And when I try to fill it up, this hole gets bigger every time. You are the sweetest melody I've ever sung. You are the sweetest melody I've never sung. You are my island of love, my remedy to rescue me. You are a breeze of a song that carries me. You are the sweetest melody I, I never sung. Yeah. 
Tell me where we go now Oh, it's better than what we know has We tried everything to save our love The best was always waiting to come What do we do? The 51 reasons not to lose our sleep And it's not that you love the world And it's not that you love the world Cause we all need a little peace do you feel a little broken? 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 Tell me where we go so fast Never used to run when we were young And I'm running out of words Still love you like the very first time Pack your bags with all the lives you've been before And leave behind what you don't want no more Sometimes, sometimes you wanna, wanna go back But it don't work like that Do you feel a little broke?
Thank you. All right. <laughs> Not fired yet. Good. <laughs> uh, the next song is called uh, Turn Up the Lights. Um, I was laying beside my partner, and we just had this kind of stare um, where you just kind of all the ugly and all the good things were just looking at each other. And it was just such a nice moment. And it's, uh, I'm going to say something about that. Let's go as far as I can go. <laughs> Are you still working on that tune, Noel Mishka? You good? I'm Let's hear it. You're working it out over there, Joe? Yeah. Tell me if you're ready. Yeah. Cool.
Is everybody all right? You guys all comfortable? If anybody's got sore legs, they can just come hang out and sit beside me. I get it. <laughs> like, Man, I ain't standing anymore. I'm going to go and sit beside that guy, and we're going to hang out. And I'm going to sing back out for fun. See how that works out for me. Just in case, I got a new dog. Um, just look at you. I mean, you get older, and you're just like, the odds of you falling in love is like zero to nothing. And then you like fall in love, and you're like, that's impossible. And then when it happens, you're like, come on. I was like, you're expecting to be like, you're on candy camera. <laughs> I got to think, it was just a joke. She's a robot or something crazy like that. <laughs> that song's just about like how absurd it is that you actually, like, that would happen again. <laughs> Such a beautiful day I must have been the company It's not that it was extraordinary Just not the ordinary Stood out who was staring back at me It's not a thought that I could hear There's a thousand person choir singing
Yeah, they don't wait for that. I was going to go get my whiskey glass, and I realized I do not have one. <laughs> this was the whiskey glass part of the show, and it's missing. Um, yeah, so we were touring in the Deep South, and this friend I had met at night, she said, she said like, I'm going to take you on this crazy drive. Uh, and we were like on these like lost, crazy highways, and the Deep, deep South is kind of this magical place. It's, everything's made out of sugar, including their accent. I'm like, hi, oh, sugar, how are you doing, darling? And it's like totally a magical, strange place. So basically, we just drove in these strange highways for hours till like 7 o'clock in the morning. And I just remember that I wanted the drive never to end. And uh, me and Joe were in the studio, and we were, we were a tune we wrote called Drive. And it's all about that kind of very crazy drive. Hmm.
it's story time. This is like story time. It's fun. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a hairdresser called Kenzo. <laughs> he was a very funny man, and he all called everybody groovy lovely. <laughs> groovy lovely, he would say. He had flown from very far in a very crazy place. He, was, he had moved from Vietnam, and he was like, I guess, really young. Obviously, he had a hundred times life of experience that I could ever have lived. And um, we were sitting down and we were talking about different kinds of griefs. And uh, <laughs> that's really funny. I feel like Mr. Rogers. Uh, and uh, he was mentioning to me that uh, he said, listen, I'm going to tell it to you straight. This kind of grief is going to take you two years, if not three. And literally, you're just going to have to flood this thing out until it's over. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can try all the things in the world to try to fix it, but you ain't going to fix it. It's going to last two, three years. Just let the flood. And then I came, I had this tune about a flood I'd written years ago, these lyrics. And I was like, I think I know what to do with those words. So I wrote this song called Here Comes a River. And she rolls like this. The wind has turned to fish ponds. The cities are seas. The cars are drowning underneath the feet. The children were swimming from the top of the trees. Crowds of umbrellas were stirred. Mary kept sewing, hanging on to her TV. Even if the water was rising past her knees, here comes the river. I come on those Nobody told you it was going to be this hard. Cause something's been building for a hundred years. Lost what you held on to. Losing control. There ain't any words in this world that's going to kill you.
Oh, thank you. All right, that's all the new songs for the new record. And now we're going to go on to the uh, best of classic 1972 best of record. <laughs> I can't wait to put one of those best of records and you feel totally awful after. Like, oh no, it's a best of records. It's over. <laughs> If you're a musician, you'd be laughing, I swear to God. <laughs> this song was written in a hot tub.
Guys, where'd they all go? Did they disappear? They did, didn't they? They went to the, oh, I was on that. Yeah, I was just thinking, hey, you wanna get the guys to Big Bird in a small cage on the roar? You guys into that? It's another request. I was gonna say it, and then he makes it look like it. It's cool, because he said it before I did it, and then it works. You into Big Bird one last roar one all together? That'd be nice, no? Yeah. I don't think turning to the noise will work in this room. It doesn't get loud now, crazy now. You know what I mean? Well, thank you very much for coming tonight. It was a real pleasure to play music for you guys. And you guys have a wonderful night. <laughs> so it, it's like sounds like the song was written as a metaphor, but it actually is like a literal story of the events. I was like traveling in Vietnam with my buddy who was a painter, and we were brought to this musician's house. And in this musician's house, they had like literally hundreds of birds in the, all the hallways and all these cages. 
And literally, like, in the corner, this is, like, really awfully small cage with a blanket over it. And I literally lifted the blanket, and it was, like, this huge bird in it. And I'm like, come on, guys. And there's all the birds are, like, I have all the space in the world. I'm like, why would you put this ginormous bird in such a small cage? They're like, hey, man, if you put the big bird in a small cage, he sings. I'm like, god damn it. That's <laughs> so mean. It's actually, if you think about it, it's actually a terribly mean song. And, um... And then we were in uh, New Orleans, funny enough, and we were in uh, one of the old like blues bars and stuff, and a little jazz bar. And I don't know, just like sitting in that bar and just watching the people and the way they sang made me think exactly of that story in Vietnam. And that's how the song collided and made Big Bird in a Small Cage. And she rolls a little something like the tuning guitar. I gave you a good tuning story, no? Oh, yeah. I got like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> There was a house halfway around the world And I was invited in for a small taste of chin there was always a thousand birds long, but the biggest one of all was in a cage too small. I asked the caretaker, cause he was a maker. Looked at me and laughed, took another sip from his glass. He said, open up your ears and hearts. You put a big bird in a small cage and I'll sing him a song. That we all love to sing along To the sound of the birds that moan I'm a really bad whistler. Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. And if anybody's really good at whistling, get here really quickly. Ba, 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 ba. I mean it. Ba. Ah, ah, ah. Where's the whistler guy? Right. Damn it. Nice. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. So we rolled in the town in the sweet New Orleans To the Apple Fair Bar was a hole in the wall Ceilings weren't tall, the floors were grand But the sound that she would make would just warm your heart While it was quarter to twelve and the boys walked in They got the black suit song and the song was to begin Open up your ears and hearts you put a big bird in a small cage and I'll sing you a song That we all love to sing along To the sound of the birds that move My turn. You put a big bird in a small cage and I'll sing you a song. Ready? You 
you put a big bird in the sky. Just joking. <laughs> you put a big bird in the small cage. Yeah! Together. You put a big bird in a small cage. Not a great carefree. And he'll sing you a song. Oh, that's why you guys are there. <laughs> I was like, man, this part of the audience is just killing it. And I get to see the camera, and I'm like, man, that guy's singing three-part harmony all by himself. It's bloody amazing. It's fascinating. How does he do it? The micro harmonics in his throat. Holy moly. Um, Oh yeah, the, uh, ta da! <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you have a lovely night. Safe flying home. All right, take care, everybody. And thank you for coming. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>